morning everybody rusty from the rusty razor got another shave of the day for you and here we're gonna go into barbus yes barbus very pleasant scent if you like arco or william soap you got that scent right there it's a citrus very pleasant very nice i really like it I'm glad i picked this up it's worth the time and effort when you lather it up you get that scent it's citrus with a little bit of um, powdery aspect to it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right. And it does lather up really nice. It's like a quarter size amount, if that much. And it's like, look at that. Ooh. Nice. And we're going to be following up with a little bit of citron from Sterling. Add a little bit of difference to it. And we're going to be using Edwin Jagger with Astro Blades. Here we go. Oh, I hope everybody's day is going good. I feel like, well, not so good. Well, good, but not so good. Yeah. Been working outside. It's like summer's here and the wife has time. And she says, you have a bunch of work you need to get done. Like what? Go out there and finish the shed. All right, fine. I'll do that. And I was tearing up the old floor yesterday. And, well, I got a whole bunch of dust and grime in the old eyeballs. So now I feel like I got gravel in my eyes. If you see it's red, my eyes are red. Cause that's because they feel like, feel like gravel. This is a nice scent. I really like this stuff. So if you're into citrus type scents, this is for you. Alright, this is the second use of these Astro Blades. I had a shave yesterday with them and... After coming in and out of the, from outside working, it's like, I need a shower, shave, but if you're like me, it's like, you don't put a video out every day, even though you could easily do it, it's just a matter of taking the time and doing it, I guess. Sometimes it's like, you want to spend a little time just doing the thing that you enjoy by yourself. So, what's everybody up to so far this week? Starting to believe. Hump day. This is hump day for me, so I guess tomorrow's Thursday for you guys. Or it be morning when this video goes out. But the uh, giveaway is still going on. So hopefully. You uh, subscribed and put down that you want to join in the festive activities. Ah, first pass is complete. Yeah, we had our. Uh, well, last week was the 4th of July, and then we had a car show at the same time, and, and then more doctor's appointments, and dentist appointments, and wow, it's like it just keeps adding up. 
but it keeps you busy though. Finished the inside of the house. We uh, had our new windows put in and got all that completed. Finished painting inside the, around the windows. Gonna do a complete overhaul of the house inside sometime. Man, I got enough for like five passes here. Any good grief. A lot of soap here. And we're going to put new floors in. And then uh, when that's after I tear all the stuff off the floors. And I'm going to repaint first. Then put new flooring in. So. I'm going to go with wood. A natural wood color. Get rid of this dark, dingy, dark chocolate coffee color. Been living with it for since what 28 years now. Like wow. That's gonna be a project in the house itself. So, tearing all the framework out. And then uh, put new door sills and all that in each of the rooms and new doors and tear the floor out and go to town. Got a sting right there. A little bump or something. You know, it's one of those things where it's like my wife is like, well, I'm not sure if I want to do the rest of the house first or the kitchen. Remodel the kitchen. She had grandiose designs of what she wants done with the kitchen. Like, She wants to move with the refrigerator and the stove, swap, swap them out and, and change things about and how it is. And I was like, you know, when you do that, she has this complaint. It's like next to the, the, between the sink and the fridge is a space in the corner. That's where we keep our microwave. It's kind of like a, a well in there. And it uh, kind of like a dead space. And she wants to move the stove over there and then move the fridge to the other side. And I was like, well, then are we going to put the microwave over there? Well, no, the microwave will stay where it's at. I'm like, but you complain, I'm not endlessly about that. I'm like, I don't think she's envisioning like I can, what, how it's going to be. But, oh well. What can you do? But, yeah, you know, the first thing I would have to do is tear all the cabinetry out, put, uh, get that new stuff put in, and then put in, because uh, I want to get rid of, got this old green linoleum on the floor that's from the late 70s. I've been wanting to get rid of that since I moved into the house. And I want to put tile in. It's like, the bathroom here. I tiled all that and remodeled this, tore it right down to the studs and rebuilt it. And I want to do all that in there. I want to tear out, we have this storage closet in there that's like a, a pantry and I want to tear that out and change how the stairwell coming into the kitchen is and open it up and put some smaller cabinetry around the perimeter and He's like, oh, I don't want all of that. And I'm like, well, I do. I'm thinking re for, because we're getting rid of the pantry. Where are you going to put everything? On the counters? And she's like, well, we got a spare bedroom. We just put it back there. It's really, seriously? You want to put all of the stuff in a bedroom? No, not happening. Oh. It's like, since she doesn't do the cooking, I do all the cooking. 
I do not want to have to run to the back of the house to go get the stuff that I want to use when I am cooking. So it's kind of like my domain, the kitchen is. <laughs> it's like I'm going to build the kitchen how I want it. So there you go. Not You don't hear a guy say that at very often. But. Let's just put it in blunt terms. If I want to eat decently, I cook. Yeah, so. There we go. Today's episode of Let's Rant About the House. How many of you guys have to go through that where you're fighting a pitched battle of wills about how something is supposed to be when you're working on the house? Like, man, the old, the old saying, gee, honey, you don't have to keep complaining. You get, don't have to tell a guy every six months if you get something done. We'll get around to it. Don't remind me every six months I have to do that. Oh, my uh, kids got together, my son and daughter, bought my wife and I tickets to go see the Minnesota Vikings and the Green, not Green Bay, but Pittsburgh Steelers football game. coming up this year like be in December but more to follow but we're right behind I think we're on the 40 yard line front row right there so we'll get the see the game I'm a Vikings fan, my wife is a Steelers fan, so that's going to be interesting. A house divided for a day. She's still mad at me because of uh, the one time they went to the Steelers went to the Super Bowl and they got beat by the Packers, and I was cheering for the Packers. So, but, yeah. Like, you and your teams, it's like, yep, I'm sorry, you're the bridesmaid this year, <laughs> yeah, so, there you go, that's a good shave. I like that Edwin Jagger. That's a nice little razor. Does a wonderful job. All right. <sighs> Followed up by Sterling Citron. Nice citrus scent. Come on out of there. I'd say the restrictor on this thing's pretty tough. Oh, there we go. Man, that is a nice scent. Very lemony. Woo, feel the cool. A little bit of glacial going on. Wow. Woo. That yeah, feels good. Like that. Good stuff. Good stuff, Sterling. 
nice burn with now it's like you're free and freeze dried <laughs> all right buddy that was barbus good soap i really like it i've ever said it but it's a nice kind of a semi-hard soap too it's kind of hard to scrape it out i'm not a scooper i'm a scraper my ocd doesn't allow me to scoop because i'll see that hole and i have to fill it in but that was an edwin jagger was astro blade's second news all right Hope you guys like this one. Like and subscribe. Remember, there is a uh, giveaway going on right now. So if you haven't uh, put I'm in, hashtag the Rusty Razor, do so. Get over there, subscribe, like. We'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.